How's everybody doing today? This is DJ with One Time Outdoors, and I'm going to talk about a fantastic outdoor company. Um, the guy that owns the company has became a friend. He is a very honest, knowledgeable, caring person. <laughs> he, he's a great guy. Um, but he also makes fantastic outdoor gear. And so uh, this is kind of my setup that stays in my front yard. And I'll show you better. But, uh, so let me take down this tarp. This is what I store the underquilt in. It's just a bag that I had. That's what this video is mainly going to be about, an underquilt. So it fits in this stuff sack. Very nicely made. Everything, you know, is perfect on it. So this is how the underquilt looks hanging on my Lawson's hammock. I will take the camera off of the tripod so that way I can walk you around. Sorry for all the shaking. So... With this underquilt, I have at least 30 nights on it. Um, I use it out here. I've used it in my house. It has these little snaps right here. So you can attach, you know, different pieces of gear to it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's an amazing piece of gear. Now, here's what is so great about Outdoorsman Outfitters. This tall, or I'm sorry, this underquilt was made in 2017. Okay, and this was his personal underquilt that he made for himself, and 
it was for a gathered end hammock. Well, I talked to him and I let him know that I wanted to get an under quilt for my war bonnet ridge runner. And I was looking for something cheaper. So he said, no problem. He told me he had this one and could give me a deal on it. And I took it. Now, what I'm going to do right now is, is just uh, unhook the underquilt so you can see it, you know, closer. It's very easy to unhook. Just like that, we're done. So here is a, you know, better look. Here's his, you know, tag and label. Just in case I haven't mentioned it, the guy's name is Avery. He He's the owner of Outdoorsman Outfitters. And he makes fantastic gear. Okay. So back to this. This was originally made for his gathered end hammock. Well, I talked to him and ridge runners are kind of unique with their underquilts. Not every underquilt will work. So he's sewn these uh, grow, grow grain loops on all the corners so that way I can attach it to the hammock itself just how it was attached here and this hammock is way bigger than the ridge runner and it still works um as you can see, you know, everything is perfect on this. This was made in 2017. It is 2020. I've no I know I've used this over 30 times and there's no nothing wrong with it. No rips, no tears, no you know, anything. Um, you know, multiple different uh you know, hanging options, you can hang it on the corners for your bridge hammocks, or you can hang it in the middle for your uh, gathered end hammocks. You can tighten it, you can loosen it. He uses all quality gear. If you look, there's, you know, line locks on it. There is, uh, you know, bungee locks. Nice thick shock cord. Um, I believe these are 3D printed um, hooks. And then, you know, also the aluminum carabiners. It's just, it's quality gear. And he, everything I've gotten from him has been perfect. And if it if it, there was something wrong with it, he fixed it. No problem. I ordered first custom piece of gear I ever ordered was a tarp, and I ordered it through him. And there was one little problem with it, and I talked to him, and he said, "Send it back to me." I sent it back to him, and. He says, you know, I can fix it and it'll be perfect, not even know it. 
or I can replace it. So me being a, you know, scared, it was my first custom gear. Talk to him about replacing it. Sure, no problem. Well, in doing that, he even let me upgrade because a different material that I really liked was on sale at that time. So he let me upgrade the material and add different features that wasn't that I didn't do the first time. So you know that that's a stand-up person. Yeah, I, I know he ended up losing money on that deal. But that's just shows you, you know, his his character. And he says all the time, he's not really worried about making money. He's his thing is he wants to get quality gear into people's hands that you know can't afford to get uh that real expensive high dollar gear but his gear is that real expensive high dollar gear just at a very reasonable price um so i'll show you you know this stuffed in its sack um this quilt right here is a 10 degree quilt with goose down um the fill power is 850 uh, Argon 90 material. And I do know that now he makes his quilts uh, different. You know, he, he makes them, I guess, better, you could say. Which is kind of hard to believe because, you know, this is one of the original quilts. So, I see how good this one is, and I'm like, wow. So, I know a couple of the things he does now is, well, one of the things he does now is he adds 5% down. So, say you, you, you get, you know, you want to get a, a 10 degree bag. So, say it normally takes, you know, two pounds of down to make it a 10 degree bag. He will add the original two pounds and then an extra 5% on top of that. So it's just that much better. Uh, another thing is he, you know, he stands behind all his gear. Everything he makes, he stands behind. Yes, this is a little uh, difficult to get in, and that's because I've had it outside for, I don't know, almost a month now. So it's very fluffy and everything. And when it's stored, I store it in this bag right here. So it's, it's a little difficult to get in, but it does fit, I promise. Uh, eventually I will get a bigger bag because I hate having to, you know, take this much time to stuff something. And if I wasn't, you know, talking to the camera and everything, I'd get it faster, but. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. My neighbor was leaving. You see, I didn't finish it. I just wanted, you know, you to see that it does fit in there. And I'm sure the more you do it, the easier it'll be. But the first time I did this, I honestly didn't think it was going to go back in, but there we have it, it does. So here you go, 
and I like how it's long, not wide. So that way it'll fit in your pack, you know, on the inside or down at the bottom on the outside. But I, I just, I can't say enough about his gear. It is quality gear and it's great gear. Um, I'm going to pause the video again and I'm going to get my scale and weigh it for you and give you the dimensions of it. Okay, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I don't have my scale right now. Um, but it's very lightweight. Uh, 850 fill power, 10 degrees, multiple attachments. It's a, it's a fantastic quilt, you know. I, I would put this quilt up against any other quilt out there in this, uh, you know, in the same 850, 10 degree, you know, that. Great piece of gear. Best part is Avery's a great, Avery is a great person and a stand-up guy. He makes all different kinds of outdoor gear. He makes hammocks. He makes under quilts. He makes top quilts. He makes tarps different kind of tarps. Uh, he has the winter tarp that I have. He has a lightweight tarp uh, with doors, without doors, with poles, without poles. Uh, and if it's not on his website and you've seen somebody else have it or something, he can do it. So, I'm going to show you how simple it is to hook this up to a uh, bridge hammock. Pull it out of the stuff sack. Um, I don't think it matters, but let me so unfortunately it's starting to drizzle, so I have to hurry up, but um yeah. I will put uh notes in of the size and the weight but what I did just something to help me um, you know remember and like I was saying not that I don't think it matters but I did purple for my head green for my foot and again um, I don't think it matters but uh, I, I believe it's like 74 inches long by uh, 50 or something I, and it's drizzling but thanks so it's about 72 inches long Thirty-eight wide, and it's not. I'm sure if I pulled it, it would be, you know, bigger. It's just fluffed out. So anyway, let's set this up real fast before it gets too wet. I take the purple to this corner, and you can actually do this without having this touch the ground. 
but I'm just trying to do it fast. And I know this is dry because the tarp was over it. The hardest part is getting it through the loops of this. So I messed up putting this together, uh, and I'll show you in a second. Um, because the tie outs are different, you see how it's hanging like that? We don't want that. So if you put it, if you clip it to the loops, it makes it too short. So what you do is on the head end you clip it up here to this and I'll show you in a second I'm really sorry about all the shaking and moving the camera so you just stretch it up Clip it in here. One. Two. And there we go. Now you can see that's a lot better. And it works perfect. Um, another thing. He makes these really nice pillows. <laughs> What's good about them is they have little pieces of grow grain so you can you know, attach a little piece of shock cord so your pillow actually stays in place. So, that's it for this video, but definitely go check him out. Uh, if you want quality gear for a very great, a very good price, you can't go wrong. You know, I, I truly believe that. Um, I'm not sure what's going to come out first. Either the review of this Lawson hammock, which I love, or the review of this bad boy. This is my custom made tarp. Here's just a little sneak peek. Sneak peek. That thing's beautiful. 14 foot long. 14 foot long ridge line. Very light sill nylon. Uh, also has the pole mod done to it. Tie out. Top of the line tarp. And this is actually my second tarp from Avery. I also have uh, like an OD green that if you want to see that one, a friend of mine, Doug Wilson, Yellowhawk Customs Outdoors, has that tarp on one of his videos. 
so you can check that out. But thank you for watching as always. Uh, please be safe out there, especially right now with this virus going around. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. God bless you all. Please like, share, and subscribe the video. Also in the link, or also in the you know description box, I will put a link to Avery's you know store, his outdoor store. Um, but it's outdoorsmanoutfitters.com, all one word, I believe. Uh, so thank you and God bless. Be safe. And if you go check him out and buy something from him, make sure you tell him that uh, DJ sent you.